I've had quite a few questions about uh, what cameras I use on board my planes and to record these little videos. So I thought uh, this one I'll go through and explain some of the cameras, some of the different mounts that I used and uh, some of the filming techniques. Most of my flying footage is uh, recorded on a GoPro. Just, this is just a GoPro 2 um, on a headband, just like this. Uh, so I can fly my plane and just record as it's uh, flying around. This is the Flight Test Mighty Mini Scout, which is a brilliant little plane. Really got the design correct with this one. It flies beautifully. There are some difficulties with this technique uh, because you have to make sure you don't jerk your head around while you're uh, filming uh, and getting the um, angle of view right too far down and you'll miss the plane and too far up and you'll just get sky um, so what I do uh, is I have this little homemade lens cap that's just velcroed on to protect the, uh, the front of the case and I can velcro that on the back like that and if I put that brace right up against the lens cap then that automatically puts my camera at the right angle. You can get some great footage of slope soarers because they spend a lot of their time just hanging right out in front of you with a beautiful background. But uh, don't forget the dreaded GoPro head. Uh, and if you want to include yourself in the frame uh, then it's easy to just take the GoPro off and pop it down on a backpack or a little mini tripod or something like that if you want to show off some of your flying skills with you in the frame for onboard recording uh, I use either of these two little um, keychain cameras uh, this one is a, an 808 number 16 keychain camera uh, with a what is it a D lens which is the widest angle lens uh, and that little red thing is just a, a um, lens cap that I made up for it because I lost the original one and this one is the sort of the bigger brother of the of the 808 this is a, a Mobius with the B lens which again is the widest angle lens you can buy for it. Uh, the number 16 costs about $50 Australian on eBay um, weighs about just under 20 grams um, and can record at uh, 720 HD and the Mobius costs a bit more, about $70 Australian on eBay. Uh, about a bit heavier, twice the, the weight of the other one, at about 39 grams. But it can do full HD 1080. And these are a series of, of mounts I use to, to mount the two little cameras onto the plane. And this one is a little counterbalance. Uh, if I have the number 16 camera right out on a wingtip, then I'll... I'll uh, tape that on the other wing tip just to balance out the weight a little bit weight and drag and so this mount here uh, is designed to sit on a tail or on a fin or something like that with the camera just strapped in with rubber bands like that and that's nice and secure I just uh, use some electrical tape something like that to secure this onto the top of the tail and it gives a good view of uh, the whole plane while you're flying this one is an anti-jelly mount which uh, takes some of the jelly video out uh, when you're flying on a motorised plane and there's a bit of vibration going through the, through the airframe. Here it is velcroed onto the horizontal stabiliser of the Bixler uh, and this one's on the uh, Phoenix slope sawer. That little mount helps to uh, lift the camera up off the surface too which is a good idea get more of the view here the camera is just taped onto the uh, leading edge of the wing of the Phoenix giving a nice wide view of the landscape and this is the rear facing view which gives you some uh, really good footage as well especially when you're uh, launching or taking off um, like in this example where you punch it vertical and you see the ground dropping away from you very dramatic and 
just the little number 16 camera taped to the CG point of a discus launch glider. Shows the number 16 camera just taped to the wingtip of the Mini Scout with the counterbalance on the other wingtip. Uh, and it flew beautifully, didn't even care about the camera. This is an amazing little plane, highly recommended. Up on the fin of the Synapse flying wing. And this one is a little angled mount. Uh, specifically for mounting the, this number 16 camera out on the wing tip of something like the Radian that has a curved up wing. Uh, and that actually goes this way. The wing tip curves up like that and that orients the camera so it's pointing more horizontally. And this view on the Radian is probably one of my favourite onboard angles of view. Uh, and you can get some really good information about wing flex from this angle as well. The number 16 camera and the Mobius are set on 720 HD, mainly to keep the file size small because video files are enormous. Um, these will produce files that are 50 megabytes per minute on 720. Uh, with the GoPro I have that on medium wide rather than full wide just to get a closer view uh, of the plane when it's flying uh, and that locks it on 1080 HD so that, that produces 100 megabytes per minute files so you need a lot of storage for video and to record these talking to camera sections uh, I use a, a Nikon D7000 SLR with a uh, Tokina 10 to 17 fisheye lens and to edit the footage together I use iMovie on an iMac but I'll do a, another video about editing in the future